Hello, welcome to Miss T's Tarot. Um, we will be doing the zodiac sign Aries today. Um, what would your future partner be like? So Spirit and I have already shuffled the cards and got the message for you, Aries. Um, the first card came out is the Page of Pentacles. The next one is the Tower card in reverse, the Chariot card, Two of Swords, and Ace of Cups. So, they read your future partner will look like, be like, they are very ambitious. They working very hard on their money. They've been manifesting um, great business opportunities, manifesting a lot of money here for you all. Um, also, this person has had some tower moments in their life where they feared change, you know, uh, was kind of afraid or probably, you know, moving on towards, you know, bigger and better opportunities. But now they're very ambitious with the Page of Pentacles. Their fears, they, they you know, they releasing all their fears now. They stepping out on, you know, they've been manifesting financial uh, business opportunities that's going to help you all. This person wants to be financially stable your future person does. This, if this resonates with a man or a woman, take it as a resonate. Also, this person, um, with this new job or money that they've been manifesting, they're gonna have a they're gonna get a message about a new job or some type of opportunity. Uh, you know that they've been manifesting about money. It could uh require a move. So. You know, this person has been thinking a lot with their two of swords, you know, what kind of decision should they move? Should y'all move? Or, you know, this could be a great opportunity. They kind of been undecisive about this move. But this person does want to a uh, new beginning uh, with you. They're gonna ask you to marry them. They want a marriage. They build in financial, uh, money opportunities uh you know this person is very ambitious you know it this might require you all to move this person that that's um your future person with this money and this job that they've been manifesting you all could move but this person definitely wants a new beginning with you you know they want love marriage and they want to take you with them with their chariot card. You all could be moving. They want to move with you. So they got to make some choices. They thinking about the choices that they need to make. They don't know if you're going to want to go with them when they get ready to travel for this new job, a new money opportunity, but they definitely been manifesting this for y'all. This person that's uh, for your future, they thinking about money, that y'all will live a comfortable life here. They want marriage. Also, I have some oracle cards here. I'm going to read for you all, Aries. Okay, the first card came out is hostilities. And this is what your future person will look like, will be like. This card shows a man raising his sword, sword in readiness to do battle. When it comes up upright, it reveals a situation where hostilities towards you are about to be already have been engaged. The aggressive energy may be verbal or emotional, with someone in the environment being excessively critical, demanding, or hurtful. In the work or social situation, there may be backstabbing or an out-and-out -out slander going on. The difference between the seat, the deceit card, the difference, the different from the deceit card because the hostile images are more apparent, more overt. In fact, you may have been living with them for some time, but whether the new or old energy now is the time to regain control, allowing dishonoring treatments from others and open invitation to the universe to send you more. It may feel risky, but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself now and always. Okay. I think um, 
what is going on here is uh, this this your future person wasn't standing up for themselves in a whole lot of situations for it's probably jobs and money and you know positions and everything and now they standing up for themselves they manifesting what they want for you all they had a lot of hostilities once upon a time um you may maybe somebody was messing with them for the money that they was trying to make or hostilities was coming up about um you know, in a job situation, it, he, this person had a lot of hostility one time because they was trying to, you know, make the money and, and, you know, have a better job and everything. But now they are working on that with the Page of Pentacles. They are manifesting. They got some type of opportunities that's coming in. Once upon a time, I feel that they was hostile because they weren't in the financial position that they wanted to be in this future person for you but now they are manifesting uh you know a new life a new beginning a new job uh they man manifesting uh financial opportunities for you all you know they building wealth i think once upon a time um like i said this is the deceit card let me read this one because we got hostile and deceit right beside each other okay this card comes as a warning that there, there may be some deception going on in your life. This person hiding the curtain, curtains, likely someone you know or deal with, whether personal or professionally. Um, a deeper layer of the meaning may be that the deception is actually coming within. Is there something that you're lying to yourself about in case the bag of values may be be holding things like self-esteem, happiness, even leisure time, whether it's about your life or yourself. Remember, the universe has a hard time sending you honoring experiences if your energy is shrouded in self-deceit. So yeah, just like I said, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, y'all. This person was very hostile, like I said, Hoss and the seat came out right behind each other. This person was dealing with some type of self-esteem issues, I believe. The hostile card and the deceit. It's like an inner thing this person was going through, but this person is coming up out of this. You know, they going for what they want. Uh, all the, you know, the opportunities that they are manifesting your future person for you all. They had some self-esteem problems, but it looks like they building their self-esteem because they had a lot of fear of change once upon a time. Maybe this job required a long time ago to move or something, and this person was undecisive about that. Now they want to come and ask you about marrying them and that y'all move on together to get this, you know, he's building, him or her are building and manifesting for y'all to have financial growth. You know, money opportunities, have a good financial life together. So this person was had a lot of deceit within their selves. Maybe they didn't think they were good enough for the job and the opportunities, because it's a message about money that your uh, future person is gonna get, a business opportunity. Maybe they had a lot of fear, the reason why this deceit card is here, like self-esteem issues. We also have the journey card that came out next. This is, these are oracle cards for you, Aries. Okay, I'm gonna read the journey card. Okay. Upright, pack your bags. The, the journey card foretells uncom, upcoming travel. Yeah, just like I said, this person is about ready to relocate with you, but they want to take you with them because they are asking, they're going to come and ask you your future person. They're going to want to get married. They're going to want you to go on this journey with them, with this financial, uh, you know, uh, opportunities are coming in, this new job. They want you to go with them on a journey, your future person, Aries. Let me read more. So yeah, it said travel or shift locations. It may be as simple as a vacation, a retreat, a class, or you could just move. You went on a journey here. All of life, all of 
life is a journey. And this card is telling you you have some exciting and inspiring adventures ahead. So yeah, you do, uh, Aries. You got a lot of expiring uh, adventures coming. This person is coming in, is, is working very hard for you all. This could be a male or female. This message is for, you know, however it resonates. But this person want to take you on a journey with them, on this move. They want to, you know, step out on faith. They've been manifesting. They want to, you know, take you with them. They, they're going to ask you to marry them. They're going to ask you to move with them. Also, we have appreciation came out. Appreciation. I'm going to read that. Appreciation. This card shows a woman holding a single rose. See that? She's holding a single rose. She enjoys the scent and beauty of a single blossom. Yet around and behind her are brambling bushes. She could be... I'm going to have to lay that down so I can finish reading the next page. Focusing on these where that she might get caught up in the pricky branches of difficulty. Instead, she's pausing to experience the blessings of the single flower. The sun is breaking through the clouds, shining on her choice on the tiny buds waiting to be open. This car upright is telling you how much to be grateful for and like flowering bush behind the woman on the car. There is more to come yet you can't see. Congratulate yourself for every moment that you choose appreciation. This decision shifts your consciousness from lack to value and is guaranteed to bring more worth and risk. Okay, so yeah, Aries, appreciate this moment. This person is coming in, wants a future with you. They want to build a life with you to make sure that you are taken care of, that y'all are taken care of financially. They want love, marriage, build a family. They want to take you on a journey. They did have some self-esteem problems, but they moving toward the page of Pentacles. They're going to take this offer, and they want to take you with them with the cherry card. They want to take you on this journey. So I also have some more cards. Um, Aries. Um, this person, I pulled some more cards from my personal deck. Your future person has a divine mission. They have a divine mission uh, about, you know, the future that they want with you and the type of future and life that they want. They want to be financially stable. They have a divine mission. They want to be financially stable to take care of their wife and family, a husband, a wife, uh, however this resonates. This person is building generational wealth. They want to be a generational wealth for y'all future, for y'all family, your children. Just like I said, I don't know if you can see that. They have a divine mission. They want the family life. They want the, you know, y'all to be financially stable. They building generational wealth. This person has ancient wisdom. They know what they want. They've been had this calling for a while. Looks like they had a missed opportunity with their tower moment. They was fearing change. But they have the wisdom and the knowledge. They're not going to let you or this money situation or this job of advancement on building generational wealth. They're not going to miss it this time. Like I said, they got a brand new start coming. A brand new start coming for y'all. They want to build generational wealth for you, y'all family. They're going to ask you to marry them. They hard workers paying off. They're not going to miss this opportunity this time. They're going for it, the Page of Pentacles. Also, Aries, before I end this message, I have some self-care cards that I always like to end these messages with. And I can never say this word right, but here it is, uh, Aries. Authenticity. I think I'm saying that right. Authenticity. Live life for you, not the audience in your head. So, um, Spirit wants you to know, you know, make the right decision with this. Uh, live your life for you, but this looks like a very good opportunity. The future person is coming in for you. They're going to they gonna make sure that you are straight, Aries. 
male or female, however this resonates. Live your life for you, not the audience in your head. Don't live your life for people. Do what's best for you. Okay, also we have the body card here. These are self-care cards. Your body deserves love. Yeah, keep taking care of yourself, your body, your skin, drink your water, do your meditation. Uh, you know, think about what it is that you really want, Aries. Just keep loving on yourself, taking care of your body, mind, and spirit. Okay, this one said, breathe. The calmer you are, the more time slows down. And the, easy, and the easier it is to get everything done. So, yeah, uh, just take a breath and breathe. You know, calm your mind. Take, you know, just calm yourself. Think about this situation because this looks like a very good uh, message that's coming from spirit about your future partner here. Just take time and take a breath and breathe slow. And you, you'll figure out everything. Also, it said elevate. You get what you believe you deserve. It's time to raise your standards. So, yeah, like I said, man, this looks very good, Aries, about your future person. You get what you believe you deserve. It's time to raise your standards. So, ele you're elevating. Elevate yourself. Make the right decision about this future person that's coming in. Um, well, that's all I have for you guys today, Aries. If you like this message, uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.